thank you so much for coming down to see the opening of my painting show here at Sigaru's Gallery. I can't tell you how happy my wife and I are to be in Florida in the middle of the warm summertime. <laughs> hey, it could be worse. It was not raining today, so we were, we we're very happy to be here. And this is the first opening of a gallery that I have ever done, so I'm a bit... Uh, I'm a bit overwhelmed. It, it, it's so nice to, to see so many people. And, uh, and it's a bit strange for me to put all my paintings in a little cardboard tube and put it in a box and mail it from Kansas City. And then I walk down the stairs here and here they are. <laughs> like magic. And I thank Ola very much for doing that for me and for taking the chance of putting my paintings up. Many of you know me from the Rainmakers music. And if that's the way you know me, I appreciate all the years that the Rainmakers have been able to come to Norway. And uh, if my songs have meant something to you, then uh, I'm happy. I'm going to play a few songs for you and, and tell you a little bit about why I paint and what I paint. And uh, if you have anything you want to ask me, that's fine. <laughs> So when I have something to say, I, I can write words, and then I can 
put a melody to it and, and I can get loud and force that song upon you. Songs that the music had, particularly rock and roll music, has that power to, no, you can't get away, you will listen to my song. But paintings, they just sit there quietly. And we were talking about artists being able to put their artist's statement, their artist's mission, into words. And it's very difficult because if you really wanted to put it in words, you wouldn't be doing, doing paintings, you'd be doing literature, you'd be writing it down. So, the very act of painting, for me, is about getting away from words. It's about believing that there are things that I can communicate to a viewer that's not about talking, and it's not about describing it with words, it's just about images and color and the way things move on a little space. I, I don't know if you saw the the, new, the nice newspaper article in the paper this morning, but the headline says, I, I come to Bodo to play God. <laughs> I think she got it wrong. I think it was supposed to be, he comes to Bodo and he thinks he's God. <laughs> I'll play it. Kansas City, which is as far from the ocean as you can possibly be. 
But when you get to be God, you can make, a, make an ocean in Kansas City if you really want to. But I, I, I like to hit a happy balance between the picture being a picture of something, a picture of water lilies, or a picture of a man and a dog, and the balance of, of where it's also just paint. It's just paint with water mixed in, and you put them together, and interesting things happen. But there's there are abstract layers to it. I actually started out as a watercolor artist, and and I don't uh, I don't have any watercolors here today because I don't paint in watercolor very much the last couple of years. I paint mostly on canvas, but trying to get some of the feel of watercolor, where the interaction of paint and water creates patterns and creates textures that you can't paint with a brush, that you can't go in there and paint every little stroke. Um, this painting, for instance, not very many artists can point with their guitar. <laughs> this painting was actually painted with, with an eyedropper, and I would fill the eyedropper with paint and then, you know, and it, it makes something that I could not paint with a brush. And so that's kind of the way I approach a lot of my canvases, is trying to make images that I'm not really painting with the brush. I'm letting, letting the paint and the water do the work. Whenever I run out of things to talk about, I can just start something. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Before the internet, which is hard for my children to imagine, before the internet. 
But since we've been coming the last five years, four years, we have made so many good friends and we stay in contact and uh, we get to know their children and see the kids grow up and become artists of their own and it's really exciting. So keep an eye out for Stred. Well, does anyone have any questions about the paintings they would like to ask me? If not, um, I'll talk about the, the places a little bit. It's been so, for my wife and I to come to Norway, it is so different than Kansas City. Just the way the, the land looks, the way the water looks, is so different than our home that we're just, we just walk around just, everything is so unique. But I think for any artist, even if you travel the world, you will always, you will always carry your home place with you. And the place I grew up was a very small town out in the farmlands, right in the middle of the United States, in Griffin, Missouri. And the land there is very flat. A few rolling hills out in the distance, but it's a very, it's the river bottom. And so, I always uh, am intrigued by the trees, the buildings, um, the old buildings that that are out across our landscape. So, some of these paintings reflect my connection with the farmland. I never was a farmer, or, or my family was not farmers, but if you grow up around farm, the farmlands, that's kind of part of your, will always be part of you. Um, then I'll talk about the trees a little bit, since we have some trees. Trees over there. These are not real trees. <laughs> There's not a, you couldn't go find that tree. But in experimenting with, with the water and the paint, and I usually paint flat with the canvas lying down like this, I, I found that the way just water travels makes trees. And that is sort of that part of getting to play God with, within your canvas that I like creating a tree. And in, in trying to create that tree, I, I understand trees better. I understand creation. That may sound a little bit heavy, <laughs> but I, that's the way I feel like it's once I get one of these tree paintings done, I think, okay, I, I understand how creation or God or nature or whatever name you want to put on it, I, un I understand a little more how they do it. And, uh, and that's what, in the end, painting is to me. It's, it's me learning. It's me getting to, to learn about existence, learn about um, everything from the smallest uh, molecule to the, to the solar system. I get to, and I'm not exactly sure what I learned, but that may be back to the beginning of this conversation where I said uh, the paintings are not about words, but I feel a little wiser when I when I complete a painting, I feel like I've learned something along the way. And stay right here. And on that note, I will play my last song and thank you all very much. coming down and looking at my paintings. I am playing Saturday night at, what's the name of the place I'm playing? Dalmadi. 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 Starting at, starting at 10 o'clock, I believe. And uh, it's play, I'm playing solo, so it will be a, an evening of Rainmaker songs, some of my uh, solo songs that I hope will come out. And a very, very big thanks to Olaf for hosting this, for having my paintings up, and for taking the chance on me, and, uh, and, for, and for putting us up in your home. It's been so nice staying out there. We will do this again.
to have our children come and find us face down on the hill listening to And I want to grow gardens with you In soil of sand and stone My desert blooms with wild perfumes Listen to the I want to be born with you Where sail and soul become Aligned and tuned to something Thank you all so much.